Wow, that is loud. Uh, but yeah, week six, college football is here, baby. It is here. It is ready for our eyes to feast upon and get ready for everything. We're gonna we're gonna talk about a bunch of stuff here. Uh, not a lot, but a bunch of stuff. Um, it's it's not a light slate of games. Don't be fooled by that at all. Um, you know, you've got Iowa, Michigan to start off. Let's just start off with Saturday because Friday and Thursday games aren't really that interesting. It's just like, eh, kind of there. Um, Iowa takes on Michigan. It's going to be a real, real test once again for Michigan. Can they stop Iowa's offense? Iowa hasn't really done much so far. Um as far as who they played and whatnot. But, yeah, um, this is going to be very interesting. This will be um, Iowa's first test, I think. Um, you know, Iowa still runs a um, West Coast-type offense. I don't really like the term pro style. It's not it's not that at all. But it really um, contrasts with Michigan's new spread identity that they're forming. And it's going to be very interesting to see what Shea Patterson can do um, against Iowa's defense. Can Michigan defense stop the run? Um, it's the question, you know. Um, there's not a lot of interesting. Well, maybe TCU Iowa State may catch your eye, but I'm not really going to pay attention to that. Um, Oklahoma Kansas, it's going to hit. Might be another bloodbath, but I want to watch it anyway. Um, you know, I am a Texas fan. Um, I want to see um, more of Jalen Hurts because the guy is just that. He is such a good player, you know. He hasn't really thrown that many deep balls this season like I had hoped. Um, but when he has, it has been excellent. You know, he's running Lincoln Riley's offense to perfection. That's what he does best um, It's just run the offense like it is. Does it well? How will Les Miles do? Um, he, you know, Les is still a part of that old, that old, that kind of old school philosophy where he likes to run the ball down the hill, out of the eye and stuff like that. Um, I haven't seen too much of Kansas this year. I did see a little bit of their game against their FCS opponent. I believe it was Indiana State. Um, they play um, at the very first week of the season. So I haven't seen much of Kansas at all. Um, I'll get to see Kansas more depth again when we play them on October 19th. But that's a story for another week. Um, that'll be that'll be something. Um, South Florida, Connecticut got moved. Um, just wanted to touch on that real quick. That game got moved because of mosquitoes in the area. Um, tragic. Both those teams are not very good, um, especially Connecticut, you know. Um, not looking too great right now. Um, so here we go. 2.30 is 2.30 Central Time, of course. Central Time guy. Uh, and that 3.30 time slot is going to be looking delicious. Um, you've got Auburn, Florida. Um, two undefeated teams. Bo Nix versus um, Kyle Trask. Two young quarterbacks that have led... Um, these two teams to where they are right now. It's going to be a tale of two defenses. It's going to be a tale of two young quarterbacks as well. And it's going to be a very interesting game. I hope uh, this will be one of the two that I'll be watching. Um, hopefully it's a good game. You know, uh, there's been some head scratchers from CBS um, as far as who they want to feature for their games. Um, and, you know, but this week they got it right. They got it right. They got what they they got the matchup they needed, and that is Auburn, Florida. It is gonna be amazing to see. Um, and then you know, of course, you know you got them horns, baby. And them horns. It's going West Virginia. Neil Brown. You know his style, the air raid that he brought over from Troy. Um, you know, it's gonna be exciting to watch. Um, it's another test for us before we. get both teams had a bye last week, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, in, in all, It's all in preparation for this game. It's going to be very, very, very interesting to watch us against West Virginia. I haven't seen 
West Virginia at all this season. It's been kind of a rough go, but we'll get to see them for the first time. Um, and, you know, it, it's going to be very interesting. I hope, I hope that we beat these guys real good. Um, this will be another test to get us ready before Oklahoma, and it's going to be it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun game. Let me tell you. Um, moving on a little bit down the line is the nightcap. Um, don't even don't even talk about Georgia Tennessee. You know it is what it is. Um, Michigan State, Ohio State. What in the world are we gonna get from Michigan State? Are we gonna get the Michigan State that can't score on offense, or are we gonna get the Michigan State that can actually be competent? On offense. This is Ohio State's first real test. Nebraska was just a red herring. It wasn't really that much, you know. Is Ohio State going to blow out Michigan State? I don't know yet. Um, but this will be great for Justin Fields, I think, you know. I think it'll be great for him. You know, it's going to be a very interesting experience. Um, do believe that Ohio State's at home, though, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, also, during that same time, you got Cal taking on Oregon. Now, Cal has lost. Oregon has also lost a game. But that was, but Oregon lost a long time ago against Auburn. You know, that was a month ago. So um, this will also be very interesting to see. You know, the Pac-12 keeps giving us these very interesting matchups that do not disappoint at all. So I hope this one doesn't disappoint either. Um, that's 7 o'clock um, Central, 8 Eastern. And then, of course, um, nightcap stuff here is just Washington Stanford. I may not, may or may not watch the game. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, there's also Oregon State UCLA, but, I mean, again, I may or may not. You know, I may just watch, like, the second half of that game because that's probably all that's going to matter anyway. Um, yeah, a very interesting week. These top 25 matchups are going to be very, very interesting to watch. And some of these other games that are that have top 25 teams in them and they're big conference games, they're also going to be very interesting to watch. Let me tell you. Um yeah, that's week six in a nutshell. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be closer to we'll be close to OU Texas before we know it, baby. Um, and of course, some other great matchups for week seven as well. Um, but that's 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 week seven. That's not even we're not even talking about week seven right now. Um, obviously, you know. Thank you guys so much for sticking around with me for my silly antics i'm trying to get these videos out a little bit quicker here at big boy variety well it's just me i don't know why we're saying we it's just me but you know it is what it is so stick around we got more coming out tonight um in this next um 20 to 30 minute block um here tonight it'll extend into um tomorrow on the east coast um, you know, the, the midnight on the East Coast, 11 o'clock here. So, um, yeah, stick around. Uh, keep watching. There's lots of stuff going on. Peace, everybody.